Sudan's civilian leadership is calling it the biggest crisis they've yet to face. Two years after protesters overthrew Omar al-Bashir, thousands are once again camped outside the presidential palace in Khartoum. But now they've turned on the transitional government, calling on its members to step down. What began on Saturday is slowly building momentum and risks upsetting the fragile coalition of civilian and military leaders that make up the transitional government. Protesters here are mainly pro-military. They've been brought together by rebel groups and political parties opposed to the civilian leadership. Civilian members of the government are accused of mismanaging the transition and monopolizing power for themselves. But Sudan's civilian leaders have a different take on events. They say the military is trying to stage a coup, the latest salvo in a war of words that began back in September after a failed coup attempt by soldiers accused of being loyal to ousted strongman Omar al-Bashir.